everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I'm an author, the creator of AuthorTube Academy, as well as a book cover designer. And today we are talking about the three reasons no one is buying your book. So of course, there are many reasons why someone may not buy your book, but today we're talking about the three main reasons why someone may say, no thank you, I don't wanna buy that. Reason number one is the cover. We all like to think that nobody judges a book by its cover, but of course, people do. If you're like me, sometimes you even buy a book just because it has a pretty cover. One thing self-published authors tend to skip a lot of the time is designing a beautiful cover. Sometimes they design it themselves, sometimes they hire someone else to do it and it's just a meh cover. My biggest advice is to really research cover designers, look at their portfolios, see what past clients have to say, and decide to go with someone who is experienced yet still in your budget. Sometimes when it comes to cover designers, so the biggest thing can actually be the communication between cover designers. Just because someone designs a beautiful cover doesn't mean that your customer service experience will be the best. Um, I've heard of some authors who've worked with cover designers and they're just kind of frustrated by the lack of communication. I personally design book covers. I love working with my clients, but I'll have to say the most important thing I found when it comes to designing a cover is communication between the author and the cover designer. I personally design book covers, so if you'd like to work with me, my website is down below. You can see uh, testimonials, you can see my portfolio, and you can also see who my past clients have been. Ultimately, you want to have a cover that you love, but also fits the genre very well, is eye-catching, and basically sells the book and does all the talking. The second thing that can stop someone from buying your book is the blurb. So the blurb is the description of the book on the back of the book or if it's a hardcover it's the description that's on the the little inside flap. I personally am constantly tweaking the descriptions on the back of my books. I like to go on Amazon and I like to tweak them. So a lot of the times you'll find that sometimes the description on the back of the book doesn't match the description on Amazon. Uh, sometimes the description on Amazon tends to be a little longer. Um, this is because I'm experimenting. I'm seeing what works best. I'm seeing what sells the book what versus what doesn't sell the book. And when I find a sweet spot, I will eventually change the printed copies as well. But the best part about being self-published is that you can make changes whenever you'd like, especially KDP makes it very easy. When you make changes on KDP, it happens almost instantly. Reason number three that no one is buying your book is because they don't know it exists. Writers tend to be naturally shy people. This means that we don't speak unless spoken to. A lot of writers are introverts. We don't like to go out and talk to people. But when you're a writer, it's super important to actually talk about your book and let people know it exists in the first place. Many authors fall into the trap that they throw a lot of work into publishing the book and maybe even marketing the book and they go ahead and they publish it and after about a month or so they stop promoting the book. They just expect the book to make sales by itself. Unfortunately, the market is flooded with books being published every day so in order to get your book to stand out, you need to put some elbow grease into it. There are two ways you can go about making it known that your book exists, and that is through content marketing and paid marketing. Content marketing is where the second book in the Marketing for Author series comes into hand. That is how you grow your author platform. This will teach you how to get your author website started, a blog, a YouTube channel, um, uh, your email list, all these sorts of things. So getting your author platform started up is how you naturally grow following and how you naturally allow people to know that your book exists in the first place. On the second hand, if you'd like to learn about paid marketing, which is how you basically find your ideal reader and put your book in front of them so they know it exists and they want to buy it, you would learn that through book three of the Marketing for Authors series, Book Sales That Multiply. 
Book sales that multiply covers a lot of stuff, including identifying your ideal reader so you're not wasting your money marketing to someone who may not enjoy your book. Uh, it teaches you how to create graphics and sales copy to sell your book, as well as how to market on Goodreads, Amazon, Facebook, ebook promotion websites, and newsletter swaps. Both these books are available in paperback and ebook, and they are linked below if you'd like to check them out. Or I have a whole playlist here on YouTube about marketing for authors. If you'd like to watch those videos, that will also be linked down below, and you can also request other videos that you'd like to see that I haven't covered yet. That is it for today's video. If you have any other reasons why someone may not be buying your book, be sure to let me know in the comments down below and share it with everyone in the community. If you'd like to stay up to date with everything I'm doing, be sure to subscribe to my author newsletter. When you subscribe, you get access to my free webinars and PDF downloads, or you can hop over onto my Patreon page where you can unlock cool and exclusive content. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe.